five next Vanguard protagonists. Now, judging by like the original series, like after the fourth season, it was like dead, and we had to start like a whole new series. And since Vanguard G Next is the fourth season, it's a possibility that you know the G series is going to get canned in for a new series. But does that mean that Bushy Road has to use a whole new character? Nah, not really. I mean, if they do decide to make a whole new series, it's probably going to eventually happen. But I kind of feel like they have characters that they can actually use instead of just, oh yeah, we're just going to make a whole new character, you know, call it a day or whatnot. So, I have five picks of possible new protagonists that can be used to continue the story. So, coming at number five, we have E. Sindal. Now, honestly, I kind of feel like that Emmy, in my honest opinion, her character development is kind of ass. Like, they don't really do nothing with her. She just does nothing but really make cameos. And it's kind of sad because she's the main, she's the sister of the main protagonist of the original series. You would think that they would give her, like, a slighter, bigger role, but they really don't. And honestly, I do kind of feel like she desperately needs the character development. Like, she's not a bad character, like, all on her own, but at the same time, there isn't really nothing much likable about her. I mean, judging by, like, what we were given and stuff. So, I think, in my honest opinion, I feel like they could just do, like, a whole... Even if it doesn't become, like, a main series, they can do, like, a whole mini-series, you know, just dedicated to her as a main character. In my honest opinion... I think that will be interesting. You know, I do think that Emmy does have fans, and I do think that a lot of people really wouldn't mind it, to be honest. To be fair, you could have just made her like the main character to this particular series, but eh, I guess it's whatever. Coming at number four is Tayo Azakawa. Now, you know, Tayo kind of went through like a lot of shit when he first appeared. You know, he went through a huge redemption phase in this season and last season. And honestly, Tayo is young enough for them to actually develop even more character with him. I kind of feel like, you know, using season three and season four as a starting point is hella good. Even though I will admit, your boy's getting his ass kicked all throughout this season. I mean, seriously, he's, he's been getting his ass kicked a lot. But, it will be a very good setup just to use him as a main character in the next series of whatever they want to start because it will even be more of a redemption process. You know, you can develop his character more. You can start seeing Tayo be more independent. You know, and you can all think all of that for Chrono. And honestly, who wouldn't want to see Gold Paladins be like the main, you know, the main deck again? That would actually be pretty good. Coming at number three is Kazuma Shoji. Now, honestly, I kind of feel like Kazuma is more the main character in this season after they put that whole, oh yeah, he's a brother to the main antagonist type ordeal. But Honestly, we don't really know too much about his character, even with what we've given with already. You can basically use all of that in the next series and actually do something pretty decent with him, unlike how they did with, like, Nawalki in Season 3, kind of sort of give us a little bit of what his character was about, and then completely forget about him in, you know, the whole G-Series. Honestly, Kazuma as a main character doesn't really sound too bad. A lot of people love Luard. I mean, personally, I hate Luard, though, but a lot of people love Luard. It's a very staple deck right now. Um, honestly, I already know like a lot of people would not mind even more support for Luard. 
You know, it's going to get, like, annoying like how it did with Gears after a while, but, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be there. So, it really wouldn't matter at the end of the day. Also, I kind of feel like, in my personal opinion, I feel like Kazuma should be the one to actually end Kazuya. And I feel like this is because once they hit us with that, they were related stuff like that. This was no longer about Chrono. This is more about him now. And if Chrono ends him, it, it's going to suck. It's going to suck hella bad because Chrono already had his time. There's really no point for, you know, him to really even do anything anymore. Um, Kazuma, this will basically, by him doing this, this will basically be like Chrono giving him the torch. In a way, if that makes sense. Coming in at number two is Azuka Matsumoto. I think I'm saying her last name right. Um, a lot of people are going to be kind of confused on this, but to give like a brief summary, um, Vanguard was going to do like a spinoff type manga style where they had a female protagonist named Azuka Matsumoto. But of course, they haven't really done much with it ever since they, you know, announced her and whatnot. And by making her like the new protagonist, this will be an interesting step. I mean, to be honest, outside of Wixis, we haven't really had a female protagonist. Or I can at least say we haven't had a female protagonist in a card game anime that's mainstream. Now, Wixis has a female main protagonist, but Wixis isn't really... It's not really mainstream. It's not like how Yu-Gi-Oh, how Vanguard is and stuff like that, where everything is, you know, mainstream and stuff. Um, Wixis is kind of more like an independent type, underground type thing. And I can tell because I know like a lot of people who will be um, looking at this video probably don't know what Wixis is. But actually, it's a pretty good anime, you know, just look it up. But anyway, getting back on topic, I feel like Vanguard does very good when it comes to female characters because they're always very ruthless, they always independent, and they always do, you know, they do like a lot of ruthless shit, I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, they're very likable. You know, it's not like how um, Yu-Gi-Oh! is where 90% of the females are all support characters. No, no, no. In Vanguard, even the ones that don't really do too much does fucking something. So, yeah. I mean, there's barely even any support characters female-wise anyway. I think the only one I can actually think of is whatever Emmy's friend is. I think her name is like Mai or something. That's like the only one I can really think of. But other than that, you know, they have very strong female characters, so even though I will admit the G-Series is kind of mad on that, like, a lot of people like Tokaha. I don't like Tokaha. I don't feel like she's strong enough, but that's for like a whole nother like video and whatnot. Um, there I don't really have any honorable mentions. So, coming in at number one, a lot of people probably would have seen this coming, is Ryuzu Emoji. I feel like he's resetting himself enough to do more than just develop a character. He can do more than redeem himself. He's at number one because he is just a straight up baby. The only bad thing is when he's, you know, grown up enough. A lot of people will be like in their 40s or some shit like that. But Ryuzu is a hell of a good choice because you can do so many things with him. Like you can do like a whole, you know, he he's trying to do like a whole redemption thing. He can be repeating what he was originally doing. And then you have people like Mamaru and um, Chrono trying to stop all that you know even his memories could eventually come back and haunt him with it 
I mean, you can do so much shit with them. It's ridiculous. You know, you you basically clean slated Ryuzu to do your own personal thing. In my honest opinion, you can be like the Vanguard Darth Vader if you really think about it. But man, I feel like if they were to bring back any character to be a main protagonist, I would definitely love to see Ryuzu as a main protagonist. I feel like that would be like the best direction they can go into and it will be so much justified on so many levels. And like I said before, he's a clean slate. You can do anything with him. You can, you know, you can do so much shit with him, it's ridiculous. I can probably go all day on like all the shit you can definitely do with him. I know like a lot of people will probably say, ah, nah, that's kind of a bad idea and stuff like that. And you know, sometimes a little bit understandable. But like I said before, dude, you can do anything with him. It's 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 interesting. You can do so much with him. So uh, enough with repeating all that. That's my list for the top five characters that you can be main protagonist. What do you think that can be a main protagonist? You think they should just do like a whole new character altogether, or use one of these five characters, or maybe there's a character that I miss that can actually be put into it. I think honestly, if I can put one more character into it, it'll probably be Hiroki. But I really don't know that many people who really like Hiroki in the first place. So we're just gonna throw all that away. But for now, this is Mrs. Zoo Nation, aka Savage Armor Junta Rafa, signing out.